everyone. I'm super excited today because we are doing a photo shoot on the Fujifilm X-T4 and the XF 50mm f 1.0, which is crazy and I'm super excited to be using it today. You guys know how much I love bokeh, depth of field in my photos, so we're gonna take this out for a spin. I just wanna let you guys know that this is a pre-production lens, um, so just keep that in mind with the photos and stuff that I'm showing you. So today's model is Jade. Lydia has done her makeup and Dan is behind the camera filming. I also wanna say a huge thank you to Fujifilm Australia for letting me borrow this kit to take photos with today. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started. This is a very pretty lens. So yeah, you can move around as much as you want for this one. Yeah, I love that movement. Love that. This location is so dreamy. It looks like a little fairy tale kind of thing. Just in case you don't know, the Fujifilm X-T4 has an X-Trans APS-C sensor, so the full frame equivalent of 50 millimeters would be about 75 millimeters. And I'll get like a couple of close-ups here as well. Since this is a pre-production lens and the first time I'm using it at a photo shoot, I decided to use my own focus point just to make sure I have focus right where I want it. And then I was thinking I love these little white flowers. Do you want to... You can kind of like crouch there facing out towards the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. I was able to capture some really sharp photos at such a shallow depth of field. This lens is very reminiscent of f1.2 and f1.4 lenses on full frame cameras where the eyes attack sharp and the rest of the skin and texture melts away in a photo, which is such a flattering look for portraits. Do you want to do some with the jacket, maybe like off your shoulders? Yeah, I like that, yeah. Yeah, I'll get like a mid-length shot there. Love that. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty with that branch there. By the way, I edited this set with a new preset pack that I've been working on recently and it's called Palm Valley. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanted to check it out and see some more example before and after images from some different photo shoots. Let me get like a super duper close up here. Like <laughs> yeah, that's so beautiful. Oh, that looks really cool there. Again, this location's like really bringing out the color of your eyes. I feel like they look extremely green. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments galore around here. Like, oh <laughs> They're into like the sun bit. It's like, it's like, it's oh my God, that looks so good there. Yeah, I love that spinning. <laughs> well, that looks really nice with you like walking away from me. Where I felt this lens really shined is while we were taking these backlit photos. The sun was super low and quite bright for sunset, but this lens handled the backlight really well. There is still a nice amount of contrast in my shots. It handled the crazy lighting well. The color rendition straight out of the camera is really nice with soft, creamy colors. Even though I did have my white balance set a little bit cooler than I probably should have for the raw photos, but I fixed that up later. And it had no issues focusing in this bright backlit either as I had a bunch of photos in focus to choose from. All right, you can toss the jacket off. It's like, it's just mine anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful there. 
With the movement shots, I did overshoot just to make sure I was getting shots in focus. It is a super shallow depth of field, so just as with a full frame 1.2 lens, it is a little bit more difficult to get shots like this in focus. You guys can see in the video just how fast Jade was moving around, and in the end, I was still able to get some really nice key shots in focus, which I really loved. Oh, that looks so nice there. If you want to just like flick your hair over again, yeah. All right, and then I want to do some kind of close-up portraits here as well. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. It looks really cool because it like frames your portrait really nicely. Yeah, beautiful there. I did also notice some chromatic aberration in my photos as well. There were both pink and green and blue fringing happening around Jade's arm and in her hair. Like I've mentioned in some of my other videos, this isn't a huge setback for me as it can be easily corrected in Lightroom. I did leave them in the photos throughout this video as well so you guys can see what it looks like. Would you be able to do a sitting shot of Oh, that's so cool. You know what, I've got the jacket in there. It looks really nice. So obviously I had to do this whole shoot at F1 because how could I not? The bucket is so beautiful from this lens. It's really creamy, soft and clean. I also feel like the lens in general has such a beautiful and dreamy feel to it as well. In my opinion, it has a lot of character. The final photos I captured on this day, especially the ones towards the end with the purple flowers, have a really unique look. Let me see if we get like a landscape shot here. Oh, that's nice if you can hold that for a second. If you kind of uh, reach down and grab your ankles with your hands. And I actually really like it when you were like that, but kind of looking out that way, yeah. Oh, look at those purple flowers. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's go get a shot with them quickly. I love them. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Could you stand just here, I think? Yeah. Is that okay? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, that looks so beautiful there. Yeah, this is quite like soft and dreamy looking. Lovely. I'm gonna take all your hair out of the jacket. I think you've got some of it tucked in. Yeah. And then maybe we'll do some without the jacket as well. I think the blue and the purple are like a bit too similar. I've actually tried out most X-mount prime lenses for Fujifilm over the last couple of months, which I'll have heaps of videos coming for you guys soon. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite lens of them all. And it's just perfectly suited for my style of portraits. It just has a really special feeling to it and a very unique looking quality, which I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know if you wanted to try one, if you kind of like hug yourself almost. Finally, we have the lens flare, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's so soft and really melts into the photo, which is my favorite kind of lens flare. I don't like it when lens flares have really prominent shapes and colors. So this flare gets my tick of approval. Do you mind doing like a little slow kind of spin on the spot? <laughs> All right, beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Before you fall over. There's some really nice oh, ones the, in yeah, there. Yeah, okay, the, you definitely, I was like, oh God, mine's like <laughs> I know so it like coat. feels kind of crazy, but yeah, like it I looks good. Like I'm just like, 
Do I feel like you commit like to the spin and then yeah. you open your eyes and Can I just get one more shot of you? You can yeah. leave the jacket on just yeah. here. I wanted to try and get a lens flare with this as well. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. So that is all we have for today's photo shoot on the X-T4 and the XF 50mm 1.0. <laughs> I would love to know which ones were your favourite photos down in the comments below and also what you thought of this lens as well. You would have heard what I thought throughout the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the unedited photos as well. I had so, so much fun using this today. It was really cool. And we also had really cool locations too. But if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a playlist linked down below of some other Fujifilm photo shoots that I've done. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I make videos every single week so I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!